how do you write that book? It began as my journal. I, I just decided that if God allowed it, I wanted it to be um, not wasted. Mm-hmm. Not wasted. The The night after she died, uh, I was in our, our, our um, we have a game room where there's like a foosball table and like games in our house. I was in that closet crying on the phone with Pastor Stephen Furtick on, on the other line, you know, and, and the kids are outside. And of course, you know, we have Christmas coming. We still had to go through the motions of Christmas that mm-hmm. year and have gifts. And, you know, the kids were sad. Of course, their sister's gone, but they still, they didn't deserve to see just us weeping every second. You know, yeah. they had, we, we still had stockings. We still had, you know, gifts and all the things. And so, you know, we would go in the closet when we were talking to people that would, would be allowing us to cry and stuff like that. And, and one of the things Pastor Steven said is he just said like, you know, Levi, um, uh, I think I feel in this, that, that God's going to give you a mantle, a man, a new mantle of authority, mantle speak of, of, of callings, responsibilities, mm-hmm. a new mantle, a new cloak. And that mantle is going to be that, that God's going to use you as you find your way through this pain that you're going to teach your generation, us all, how to suffer and to do so, like you said, looking for power inside your pain. So, mm-hmm. you know, as you find your way through this, just remember, it's not just for you. Whatever you find is going to be needed by others. And I think that, coupled with a few other revelations, more gave me a gearing of conservation because I can't give out what I don't collect Mm -hmm. if I don't have a system for retaining. So I just decided that I wasn't going to waste anything. And and in order to recycle it and share it with anybody who would want it, I had to collect them. So from that moment forward, I, for the first 365 days of grief, I wrote every day something Mm -hmm. I wrote down in my journal. It wasn't a book. It was just my collection. I called it my Linya Lion log. We call Linya Linya Lion. Mm -hmm. Um, Linya means lion in Russian. So it's Linya, Linya, lion, lion, Linya, lion. Amazing. And, um, and we gave her eyes, her, we donated her corneas to, to non a nonprofit that gives them to blind people. And so two blind people received sight through wow. our little girl's eyes through the and eyes they today see through the eyes of a lion. And that's wow. where the title came from. But if <laughs> you said something in a conversation and it lifted my spirits from negative 100 to positive two, I would write it down. Mm-hmm. Torin said this, it helped me. Mm-hmm. If I was reading in the Bible when this happened, if I, if anything hurt or or challenged, I wrote it down. So later on when I was like, oh man, there, there might be something. I went back and read, it was 200,000 words, this, lo- this log. Mm. And so I went back and read through them and it was very hard. Oh, you know, we're yeah. talking first, fourth of July. We're talking first, my birthday, first, her birthday, first mother's day, first father's day, all, all of that year is such a run. Anyone listening, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. And that first year of grief is really brutal. It's a minefield and you haven't cleared yet. Right. At least year two, you know, okay, that's a hard one to brace for impact. So I just went through and sobbed my way in hotel rooms where I would go check in and stay for 24 hours, 36 hours and read anything that as I went back, I was like, oh dang, there's a lot here that could become this book. Yeah. And that's how it happened. Wow. I've said I never that told that story, times. Torin. Bro, thank that, you for asking. Yeah, that's incredible. I just I don't like to rush rush past a, a moment like this because I know there are so many people in day two of this process. They're in day seventy six. Uh they're six years out. There's something around the corner you know, that they're going to need this perspective for. And first of all, I would point people to the book. You can get it anywhere books are sold. Um, And I would also just want to encourage people from this story that the story is not over if the story isn't good. 